What's up guys, my name is Andrew. I like to talk about men's health, men's grooming, men's fashion. And in today's video, I would like to share with you some tips on how to get a clear skin naturally. Let's get into it. Number one is to wash your face twice a day. I think this should be a part of a daily routine of every single human being, every single person, because it really makes your skin look better. It not only makes your skin look better, but actually when you wash your face in the morning, it wakes you up, you know, you clear all those dirty things on your face that have stuck onto your face during night when you slept. So I think this is really crucial and every single person should be using this on a daily basis. It can really wake you up and wake your eyes up because when you wake up, your eyes are fatigued and tired in the morning sometimes. It's a good way to wake yourself up and get ready for the day. And mostly it's gonna just clean all that dirt that you've been able to collect throughout the entire day and washing your face twice a day is gonna remove all that oiliness and all this mess that you've been collecting onto your face all day or of all night number two is to change your bed sheets okay from your pillow from the entire bed okay you want to change your bed sheets at least once a week this is gonna prevent your bed to be stinky for your bed to be dirty because when you don't change your bed sheets for let's say for about a month the entire month every single day for those entire 30 days you're gonna be collecting all of this dirt at least six hours every single night if you are sleeping less than six hours well you are a monster but like i suppose you're not sleeping less than six hours so if you're sleeping let's say eight hours and you're spending eight hours in your bed like imagine spending that in clothes you were washing your clothes every single week probably i mean you should be if you are not doing that like please at least get your mom to do it and if she can't like please do it yourself because like it's hygienic and you should be doing it you should be changing your bed sheets as well every single week because that's gonna make sure that all that dirt all that mess all that oiliness that has been stuck on your pillows for a month you're gonna make sure that that doesn't transform to your skin and to your face during the actual sleep so you want to change your bed sheets because all of that bacteria can be transferred onto your face during night so please Change your bed sheets once a week. I know it is not an easy task, you know, it takes some time. But come on, you can do this, let's say, in two minutes. So it really doesn't take much time. And trust me, your skin is gonna thank you exponentially. Number three is to stay hydrated. This is fundamental, okay? This is like the most basic thing that you need in order to have a clear skin and to have a sexy body let's say and a healthy body because your body is 60 percent made out of water and if you're not giving it the water that it needs your skin and your whole organism is gonna struggle so you always want to get enough water intake because that's gonna make your body more hydrated it's gonna give your body what it actually needs and so staying hydrated is not only gonna benefit your skin okay and make it more hydrated make it more healthy and appealing for other people but it's also going to change every single other aspect of your body okay you're gonna develop more muscles and more muscle growth because of this water that you are drinking muscles need water in order to grow okay so if you want to grow some kind of muscle like start drinking more water trust me it's gonna really significantly improve your whole body and don't overdo it don't drink like 30 gallons per day but at least drink water instead of some coca-cola drinks where there is millions of sugar and it's not healthy for your insulin levels and also it's not healthy for your body entirely the same thing with alcohol so try to replace i know it's hard if you're addicted to those things get some professional or try to figure out it yourself but start thinking to switching to water because water is the most healthy drink that you will ever came across so start drinking more water it's 
life-changing. Number four is to stop touching your face. Okay, I need you to stop touching your face. This is hard, this is going to be hard, but I'm telling you it's gonna really improve your skin and how your skin looks, okay? I didn't achieve this kind of skin and this glow look of skin. I wouldn't achieve this if I was constantly touching my face. I'm not saying I never touch my face, you know. I'm still like working on this and trying to progress and improve myself in this matter because we are still animals and we touch our faces. That is kind of normal. If you want to get a better skin and if you want to have a clear skin, it's super important to stop touching your face or if you actually have to touch your face for some reason, I need you to use a tissue for that, okay? Grab a tissue and touch your face through that tissue or even better, wash your hands. Wash your hands with a soap and that's gonna remove all that dirty bacteria that you might be having on your hands. So use some soap, clean your hands and then you can touch your face if it's sweating, you know, because it is hard to not touch your face because actually your, your face is sweating a lot. And so you're gonna sometimes just have to touch it and you can't help yourself. But try not to because all of the bacteria that you collected onto your hands, you're gonna now transfer it to your face. Trust me, it's not a great look to see all those pimples starting to go up just because you put some bacteria from your hands to your face. The next tip is to avoid popping your pimples. I know if you are in a puberty, if you got into puberty and if you are a teenager, it's natural to get all of those pimples and all of this acne on your face. It's pretty natural and it happens to everybody. To those who it doesn't happen, like they are the luckiest people in the world. But I am glad that I'm kind of a guy who doesn't really have much acne on his face because I know there are guys really struggle with their skin and how their skin looks like so I'm really grateful for my body how it looks like because I'm kind of I'm not saying I'm fully satisfied with it but I'm happy with a lot of things the way I like look like even though I can still look better I can work on myself but yeah I want you to stop popping your pimples because it's super unhygienic and a lot of the times and most of the times if you pop a pimple like it's not gonna help you actually okay yeah people do it because it's normalized just like drinking alcohol is normalized i mean that thing shouldn't be normalized those things shouldn't be normalized i, I don't respect those things popping pimples shouldn't be a thing because basically what you're doing is you are transferring all that bacteria that is on your hands to your face and how does that serve you it doesn't serve you like the pimple is still gonna be there because you're gonna have even more bacteria here on the face now so if you really want to have to pop the pimple like use a tissue okay grab a tissue i mean somewhere here grab some leather tissue or some paper tissues and just you know do it through it okay don't put your own hands your dirty hands if you especially if you haven't washed them onto your face directly that is not gonna help your skin and it's gonna only harm your skin don't pop your pimples and if you have some huge pimple on your nose let's say like yeah pop it but use a tissue for that or wash your hands really properly and because then it's gonna be easier for you to not get any bacteria into your face and that's all from me in today's video and i'll see you in the next one peace